Hello kids. Today we will learn about skip counting. Skip counting is a method of counting forward or backward by a given number. Or in general we can say skip counting is simply counting while skipping a number or numbers in between. So in this video let us understand about skip counting with the help of examples. Now let's get started. The first one is skip counting by 2. Skip counting by 2 means you have to move forward 2 steps. That is you have to skip one number and move to second number from given. Now let us see with the help of example. Now let us understand about skip counting by 2. Here the little toad need to reach the pond and for this he has to skip count by 2. Now let's start. He is at number 0. He has to move 2 steps. 1, 2. So the number is 2. So when skip counting by 2, the toad reaches the number 2. Now. The little toad is at number 2 and again it has to skip count by 2 to move forward. Now let's start counting. 1, 2. So the number is 4 and the little toad jumps on number 4. Again he has to skip count by 2 to move forward. 1, now the number is 6. So the toad jumps on number 6. Again he has to move forward 2 steps. That is skip counting by 2. 1, 2. Now the number is 8. So the toad jumps on number 8. 8. Again he has to move 2 steps forward. That is skip counting by 2. Now let's start counting. 1, 2. Now the number is 10. So the toad jumps on the number 10 and he reaches the pond. Now the little toad is happy about reaching to this pond. So I hope you would have learned about skip counting by 2 with the help of this little toad. Now let's move on to the next one. The next one is skip counting by 3. Skip counting by 3 means you have to move forward 3 steps. That is skip 2 number in between and move to the third number from given. Now let us see and understand with the help of example. Now let us understand about skip counting by 3. Here we have little Masha to help with this. She has to reach the basket of strawberries and for that she has to do skip counting by 3. Masha is standing on number 0 and now she has to move 3 steps forward. 1, 2, 3. So the number is 3. She has to jump on the number 3. Now she is on number 3. Again we have to do skip counting by 3 so that the Masha moves forward. Let's start counting. 1, 2, 3. So the number is 6. Now Masha jumps on the number 6. Now Masha is on number 6. Again we have to do skip counting by 3 to move forward. 1, 2, 
3. So our number is 9. Now Masha jumps to number 9. And now she gets her basket of strawberries. Now the little Masha is happy about having her basket of strawberries. So I hope you would have understood about the skip counting by 3. Now let's move on to the next one. The next one is skip counting by 5. Skip counting by 5 means you have to move forward 5 steps. That is you have to skip 4 numbers in between and move to the 5th number from given. Now let us understand more about this with the help of example. Now let us understand skip counting by 5. Here we have a little Jerry to help us understand about this. Jerry has to reach to his cheese and he has to skip count by 5. Now he has to move 5 steps forward. Currently he is at Number 0. Now let's start counting. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So the number is 5. And Jerry jumps on the number 5. This is skip counting by 5. Again, Jerry has to skip count by 5 to move forward. Now let's start counting again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So the number is 10. Now Jerry jumps on the number 10. Now from 10, he has to skip count by 5 and move forward to reach to his cheese. Now let's start counting. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now the number is 15. Jerry jumps on the number 15 and reaches to his cheese. The little Jerry is happy about reaching to his cheese. So I hope you would have understood about the skip counting by 5. Now let's move on to the next one. The next one is skip counting by 10. Skip counting by 10 means you have to move forward 10 steps. That is skip 9 numbers in between and move on to the 10th number from given. Now let us understand more about this with the help of example. Now let us understand about the skip counting by 10. Here we have the little butterfly and it has to reach to yellow flower to collect some honey. Butterfly has to skip count by 10 to move forward. Now the butterfly is at number 0 and it has to move forward 10 steps. Now let's start counting. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So the number is 10. Now the butterfly moves to number 10 and reaches the yellow flower. Now we know that the butterfly is at number 10. It has to move forward 10 steps to reach the blue flower. That is it has to skip count by 10. Now let's start counting. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So the number is 20. Now the butterfly 
moves to number 20 and now it has reached the blue flower. We know that the butterfly is at number 20 and again it has to skip count by 10. That is it has to move 10 steps forward to reach the pink flower. Now let's start counting. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So the number is thirty. Now the butterfly moves to number thirty and reaches the pink flower to collect honey. Now we know that the butterfly is at number 30 and again we have to skip count by 10 to reach the purple flower. Now let's start counting. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So the number is 40. Now the butterfly moves to number 40 and now it reaches the purple flower. So here the little butterfly has reached all the flowers by skip counting by 10. So I hope you would have learned about skip counting by 10. So I hope you enjoyed learning about the skip counting. Skip counting by 2, skip counting by 3, skip counting by 5 and skip counting by 10. So thank you all for watching. If you like my video, please like, comment, share and subscribe for more videos. Thank you.